Hi guys, thank you for joining me. Today I have a special guest on my video and that is my mom. Today she's going to show us how to make mitai. She makes the best mitai, it's always perfect. And she does a better job than I do, so I figure that she's the best person to show you guys how to make it. And as usual, I will link the recipe below in the description box. It will be on my blog. So the first thing that she's doing is grating nutmeg into all-purpose flour. And it all starts with flavoring the dough. As my mom explains it, the dough should be tasty enough that you would enjoy it without the syrup. So she flavors it with grated nutmeg and cinnamon. Next, she's adding sugar. And this is to give the dough just a little bit of sweetness and also a pinch of salt. Now she's using a whisk to mix it all together just to make sure that those spices and the sugar and everything is evenly distributed before moving on to add in shortening. And she's using vegetable shortening and she will cut this into the flour. You can use either a knife or your hand. To be honest with you, the fastest way and the best way to do it is with your hand. Next she's adding whole milk and as you can see she is not using any measurements, she's totally going by feel. But don't worry, I will provide measurements for this recipe. Now you can also use coconut milk in place of the whole milk. That also gives it a great flavor. Whenever my mom comes to town, there are certain recipes that I always request and this is one of them. Mitai and roti. She also makes really, really good polori. I will be sharing her roti in another video. This is the recipe that is currently on my blog, but I'll show you how she does it. As you can see, she's been kneading this into a nice smooth ball. And once it looks like this, we're just gonna cover it and let it sit for about half an hour before rolling it out. Now she's gonna roll the dough out pretty thin, but not too thin. And as you can see, my son is waiting on the side. He cannot wait to get his hands on that mitai. When I think back on my school days, mitai was definitely one of my favorites. We used to buy it at school. You know, you buy the mitai, um, plant and chip it sour, Lori and mitai was always the sweet treat and this is pretty much the thickness that you're gonna go for and next she's gonna cut it and she's using a pizza cutter you of course can use a knife but this makes it very easy and as you can see she's cutting it into pretty even strips even sizes I mean she's a master at this I could look at her cut this all day and once she's done cutting them all, she's going to separate the strips just to make sure they're not sticking to each other. This is going to make it easy once you begin to fry. Next, she's going to fry the strips in hot oil and the fire is at about a medium. What my mom explains is that you don't want it to fry too quickly because you do need it to cook all the way through and kind of dry out in the middle. That way the mitai is crispy and not soft. And this mitai is not going to be hard. It's definitely going to have a snap. It's not soft and it will not break your jaw, I promise. She's scooping it out of the oil and placing it into a bowl lined with paper towel to catch the excess oil. And this is pretty much the color that you're looking for. It's going to be nice and golden brown. Even though it's not done as yet, at this point it's still pretty tasty. I snack on these until the syrup was ready. Now we're getting started to make the syrup and to the pot she's adding equal parts sugar and water, sliced ginger and a cinnamon stick. And we're just going to let this boil and as it boils it's going to get the flavor of the ginger and the cinnamon and it's absolutely delicious. You're going to know it's ready once crystals start to form on the side of the pot. Then you're going to add the vanilla extract before pouring it over the mitai that we fried earlier. Now, once we've poured this all over, it's time to stir it. Now, some people toss it in the air, but I would not recommend it unless you really know what you're doing. But you can use a spoon as she's doing and just stir it and just keep stirring until the syrup dries and it begins to crystallize. As you can see, she's just continuing to toss it until it's no longer sticky and then it's going to be done. The link to this recipe is below in the description box and it will lead you to my blog where I share recipes just like this one. So be sure to head on over and take a look around. And that's it you guys. Perfect mitai. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a nice word in the comment section below for my mom. See my son is already in it. 
And thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.